so Lil Uzi Vert dropped the track, kind of unannounced, called Sasuke. I still have not heard it. Um, it is currently Monday the 27th as I record this. Haven't heard it. Spent all weekend watching Twitter <laughs> and basically seeing everybody bash this track. So uh, Twitter has kind of like a habit of making things to seem worse than they really are. Um, I remember going into the Eminem album and it turned out better than I expected. You know, a few a few albums this year turned out better than I actually expected because people really like to hate a lot, like become overbearing on the hate online. So, you know, I'm going into this expecting it to not be as bad as people have made it out to be. Those are my expectations for this track. Just that it's not as bad as people make it out to be. And if it is, um, you know, then at least Twitter was right and I won't be too disappointing because my expectations are really low for this track going into it. And it sucks to have to have low expectations going into an Uzi track because he's been so strong all year. So um, we'll see what he's got for us. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Doug. I completely forgot to introduce myself. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a professional, I swear. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you end up enjoying this video. And um, yeah, let's check out Sasuke and see what little Uzi Vert has for us. It's not bad yet. It kind of rides. Yo, this is kind of fire. Yo, there's probably going to be a switch up or something that people are really talking about because right now this doesn't sound bad at all. Seriously, I was expecting something terrible by the way people made it seem, but no, it's got cool production. It rides, and he's given us that typical little Uzi Vert performance, you know, a very melodic approach, very energetic approach. Um, you know, this this is enjoyable, honestly, so far. So I'm expecting there's going to be some sort of weird second verse or a switch up that just doesn't fit with the rest of the track. Something like that, because this is actually good right now. So we'll see. <laughs> Seriously, like, what's the issue here? Honestly, I was expecting an absolute garbage track, but this beat is really, really dope. Genuinely, I like it. I like the vibe. I like his performance. I think it's really energetic. Is it his voice that people are talking about? Is it like the ad-libs where he's doing like a really nasally little high-pitched thing? Those are so negligible, you know? They, they just happen in the background. I barely noticed them until about like halfway through the track when I noticed that he was actually doing a really high-pitched little little voice. Um, his performance here doesn't really change too much from Price's, for example, where he's got like a really nasally, like mumbling, I'm just doing up in my price. I'm just doing up in my price. You know, it, it doesn't really sound any different than that. And Price is one of my favorite tracks off of Eternal Take. Uh, that bass line for Price's could have been so much better for sure, but... <laughs> Um, it's still one of my favorite tracks, so I really don't see the the reason for the hate here. Like, I'm genuinely surprised. Seriously. Okay. Is this what they're talking about? Because this isn't it. Alright, I see now. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, all right, I see now. Okay, yeah, so that that was the performance people were talking about. I was really surprised by the beginning. You know, I was, I was expecting this to be absolute garbage, and it, it, it wasn't... Um, it wasn't until he started using that little really weird, like, super strange delivery that I noticed, okay, this is probably what people are talking about because up until that point, the track was fine. It was fire, actually. It was really enjoyable. Now, I will say that once we do get to that verse, that delivery isn't really it. Like, I, I can see why people were upset at that. But to call the whole song garbage because of that, I, I don't think is necessary. I mean, I would still listen to it and then when it gets to that verse, skip on to the next track. I mean, we still get about three minutes of, of dope music by that point so you know i can still enjoy the majority of the track and skip the end i mean how many songs are on my playlist where i do just that uh, i don't like the last verse but the track is still good enough to make it on here and then when i get to that point that i just dislike i just skip it and move on to the next one so the track does lose points for that last little verse sure but 
I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all, honestly. Like, genuinely, Twitter had me expecting this to be four minutes of absolute filthy, like, hot, flaming garbage, and it just wasn't. Uh, maybe the last 45 seconds or so are, are pretty bad, but for the most part, the track is just fine. Um, you know, I saw people, like, making fun of little Uzi fans for liking this. So I was like, man, this must really, really, really be a bad track, and the stands are probably having to make up a whole bunch of different excuses for liking it. But no, this is a genuinely enjoyable track until the last verse. It's fine, you know? So, uh, and I'm for sure not a little Uzi Vert stand. Like, I, I disliked a great portion of uh, Lil Uzi Vert versus The World 2, and, and some people were upset in the comments for that, but like, I enjoy Lil Uzi's music, sure, but I know when it's nice and when it isn't, and, and this is, for the most part, not as bad as people are making it seem, so I guess I could say that it lived up to my expectations of not being so bad, <laughs> and um, yeah, guys, if you like this, don't feel bad for it, you know, it's, it's really, people are gonna hate no matter what, um, but yeah, if you like this, stream it, give it a listen for yourself, don't just go off of what people on Twitter are saying, because this is actually genuinely surprising. The first, the vast majority of this track is surprisingly good. So uh, those are my thoughts on this track, and they're honest, and this was really a first listen, so that should go without saying, because most of my videos are genuine first listens, um, when they're not reviews or playthroughs, you know, like throwback videos, they're all genuine first listens, but there's always going to be some people that doubt that in the comments. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, be sure to support the channel any way that you see fit. Check out some of the other videos. Check out some of the little Uzi Vert videos as well. I've got quite a few on the channel. And uh, I will see you guys in another video very soon. So until then, stay safe. As always, peace out.